First Chronicles chapter 21. In the moment of pride, King David made a decision that would bring consequences he could never have foreseen. David, go number the warriors of Israel from Dan to Bathsheba. Joab, why does my Lord seek to do this? My Lord, multiply our warriors, but why bring guilt upon Israel? But David's pride overshadowed the warning, and the census began. Joab followed David's command, threw his heart, was troubled, and the census completed. The numbers were brought back, but with it came guilt. David, I have sinned greatly by this doing this. Lord, take away my guilt. I am your servant. I acted foolishly. The Lord has sent his prophet Gad to offer David three choices of judgment. Three years of famine, three months of fleeing from enemies, or three days of plagues upon the land. Let me fall onto the hands of the Lord, and his mercy is great. Do not let it fall onto the hand. A great plague struck Israel. Seventy thousand men fell as the angel of the Lord stretched out his hand over Jerusalem. David, it was I who sinned, but the sheep let your hand fall on me and my family. In the moment, God relented. The angel of the Lord halted, and David was instructed to build an altar on the threshing floors of Arnua. Through the sacrifices and repentance, David found mercy. The plague ceased, and the place of judgment became a place of wor worship and the future site of God's temple. In the wake of pride and failure, David learned that true leadership comes not from the number and or strength, but from a humble heart before God. You have a blessed, wonderful day. One day at a time, you can go through the entire book of the Bible. I'm on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can check out the Bible. There's other ways, um, Bible.com, the version. your church probably has a Bible study, and then um, do the Word. So get your Word in every day you can.